everybody. Welcome to Team Terry's Keto Kitchen. I'm Renee. I'm Mark. Hashtag Team Terry. Happy Saturday, everybody. We are coming to you guys live from cool California. I hope you all had um, a fantastic day. Saturday, did a little bit of something for yourself. I don't know, read a book. Took a nap. Took a nap. <laughs> did something for yourself, you guys. I hope you did and are enjoying your Saturday. As you are coming on, please say hello. Let us know where you are watching from. Um, also, if you are catching a replay, hashtag replay. And if you're new, please put new in the comments so we can connect with you. Also, we appreciate if you guys would share this out. Sharing is caring. Share it to a friend. Share it on your page so all of your friends can benefit from healthy eating. Share it to your book club. Just share, share, share. We appreciate that. Um, and if we aren't friends, send us a friend request or follow. To follow, all you have to do is, I got it this time, touch my nose, <laughs> hit the three dots up at the top, scroll down and select follow, and then you can select see our stuff first, and you'll be notified of whenever we go live. So Mark is making one of our favorite dinners. This is fantastic for meal prep throughout the week, so um, I'm going to hand it over to him, and I'm going to go do some sharing. Okay. So tonight we're going to make a ham and cheese stuffed, bacon wrapped, meatloaf. Uh, we've made this before and we just love it. It's been quite a while since we've made it so mm -hmm. we uh, decided that we'd give it another shot. So <clears throat> I'm going to start with two pounds ground beef. Um, I'm going to add to that a couple of eggs. I'm going to put in um, a teaspoon, no two teaspoons of garlic powder. Oh. What'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> hey, see, that's why I clean. He makes too many messes. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing I don't clean the kitchen. Yeah, he likes that I clean so he can make messes. <laughs> Look at you. Dear Lord. Oh, my goodness. You know what? I'm going to get you an apron. I have two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use them. I'm going to get you an apron and make you put it on. So then we're going to add to that a uh, couple of. So one te teaspoon of pepper and two teaspoons of salt. So I don't use a lot of salt and pepper. Um, the uh, the uh, pork will have a little bit, of the, the ham will have a little bit of uh, um, salt to it, although it is uncured, so it shouldn't have too much. Um, and then the way I see it is if you want salt and pepper. You can add it later. Add it when you... Uh, when you um, are eating are eating so hey everybody thank you for saying hello as you're coming on hi Michelle hi Amanda hi Andrew hi Robin we appreciate you all spending some time with you on us on your Saturday mm. so one tablespoon of pepper two teaspoons of salt and I'm just gonna hey pause how are you crazy lady Hi, Robin. Thank you guys for saying hello. Pause. Thank you for all of the love. If you guys could give us some hearts on the screen, hit some hearts on the screen, give us some love. That's always appreciated, too. Yep. So, right, and right. we're going to do this a little different. We're going to, um, instead of using almond meal like we did last time, this time we're going to use ground pork rinds mm -hmm. um, and use that as our, um, our base to, to hold the meatloaf together. Um, kind of excited to try that and see how it. The almond meal was a good out. is a good substitute for yes. breadcrumbs. So if you don't have pork rinds, you can use almond meal. It's a really good substitute. We found that um, it was still a little bit drier than what normal meatloaf was. We yeah. thought we'd try it with the pork rind. So see let's if that comes up any let's see if it moistens it up a little. Well, I've just got a three ounce bag of pork rinds here, and I'm going to put them in the food processor and just grind them up until they are the consistency of. Uh, uh, flour basically um, and these are just an original flavor you could probably put a hot flavor and put them in and, Ooh, uh, I didn't those. think about that get those ones at Costco the really hot yeah, ones the really hot ones if you want to <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so I just want to just cut up a three ounce bag. What I'm trying to get out of this is one cup for uh, of uh, pork rinds, which I think we're going to get pretty close. Fine here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hi Tina. Hi Felicia. Hi Barb. I see a lot of you guys jumping on. Thank you so much for saying hello. Also, if you can share it out, share it to your page so whenever you are wanting this recipe, you've got it there. And also that way your friends and family also have a great, um, just a great meatloaf recipe. Like I said, we have yeah, adapted something this. Something a little different. It's Adapted really it to keto, but it was one that we ate before we were keto. Um, so a three ounce bag just does pretty close to uh, one cup when it's ground up. So. Oh my gosh, that food processor we have had forever. Yeah, she asked where we old. got the big food processor. I have right? no idea. It's uh, could have been a wedding gift. I don't know. <laughs> that it's long a, ago. I think it's, it's a, a Black and Decker. It's a Black and Decker. Yeah, quick and easy Black yeah. and Decker. They may yeah. still make it. They probably do. Okay, so I've got that in there. I have my salt and pepper, my garlic powder, my eggs, and now we're just going to mix this all up. So also, if you guys are on here and you are new, please put new in the comments and let us know where you're watching from so we can connect with you. Um, if you are not already in our secret recipe group, drop recipe in, or I'm sorry, drop secret in there and I will get you added. This group has a ton of recipes. Um, it has meal plans, um, but you have to be invited. So if you want to be in that group, drop secret. There's a lot of you on here I, I know are. Um, in there already and we appreciate you guys. Best you kid is a second hand store now. Hmm. Probably, huh? Because yeah, they're so they're so there's so smaller. many new ones out now, yeah. You're welcome, Kathy. Hi Christiane, I see the word secret and I will get you added new from Rosenberg, Texas. Recipe please. Yes, I will Recipe. post Yes. <laughs> Recipe please. That was a tongue twister. Yes, Shouldn't have been. I will post the recipe up at the top um, after we finish go live. It'll be up in the description and then the directions. Okay, so I've got this all mixed up. I've got a, um, a cookie sheet here that's lined with parchment paper um, just so I can get this rolled out and ready to uh, put our other ingredients in and, and make my meatloaf out of it. So I'm just going to press this out um, till I get it down to about a half an inch or so. Um, you want to keep it thick enough that when you start to roll it, it doesn't fall apart because you're going to have the cheese in there and the, and the ham and it, uh, if it's too thin, it will split before you get it, before you get it all uh, put together. So this is going to make a nice good sized meatloaf here. I can already see a difference in the texture from the almond meal and the pork rinds. I can too. And it looks like it's going to bind together a lot better with the pork rinds than it did the uh, with the almond meal. The almond meal was pretty dry. Yeah. Um, it may have been, I could, probably could have used some water or something to uh, make it a little uh, more rinds. moist. We have pork but, rinds. But uh, yeah, don't need to. Um, and the pork rinds will pick up whatever flavor is in the meat. So. So, uh, you shouldn't taste the pork rinds much at all. This was a request from some of you guys last weekend on our live, and um, so we appreciate your request. If you have any other requests that you would like to see live or have adapted to keto, drop them in the comments. I mean, different types of desserts. I'm always looking for dessert ideas, um, and that way we can do them for you on our keto kitchen. We try to come to you live twice a week, so once during the week, something easy. Um, or something quick, quick yeah, a dessert, um, and then on the weekends to do some type of a meal. Mark wanted to do fish. We're going to do fish, and I'm actually going to. Did you not put eggs in that? I put them in it. Okay, somebody asked no eggs. Yes, there's eggs in that. Yes, there's two eggs in it. Um, oh, now I lost my train of thought. Fish. Oh, who's going to make fish? And you know what? I think we will do fish, and I will actually try it on a live okay i will be a big girl and i will put fish in my mouth i'm just terrible it's my it's a mind game for me a definite mind game hi janet hi sandy thank you for saying hello jewel i see secret can you make a shortcake for strawberries yes i think we did see i, I did think see we one. probably can um we may be able to make um i may be able to do it in a 90 second mug cake Ooh. um just put a little sweetener in it. And that would be good for an individual one, but for sure. like guests, we'll have to see if we can find the one. I yeah, I'd have to think about that one a little bit. Thanks for the challenge, Sandy. We're yeah, on it. We'll give it a shot. We're definitely on it. 
Olga, I see you went in the secret group. Thank you. Send me a friend request. That way I can get you in there quicker. If you guys, if we are not friends, please send me a friend request. Facebook is terrible. If I message people that I'm not friends with or if I interact with them, they throw me in Facebook jail and then we can't go live and I can't, you know, post my family stuff and talk with my family. It's kind of silly, but they think that I'm spamming you guys because we're not friends and they only want me talking to my friends. So send me a friend request or follow us. And then that way I can send you recipes and get you into that group. Okay, so I've put uh, some ham on here. I've put five slices of, uh, this is a, an uncured um, black forest ham. Uh, I have not tried this ham before other than, uh, than today. So it's, it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, keto tip, look <clears throat> for the nitrate free and yes. eat your keto. Yes. Look for ni no nitrates, uncured. Mm -hmm. Always is a, a, a bonus. A good bonus, yeah. And then we are doing the same thing with the um, with the um, bacon. bacon. We have an uncured applewood smoked bacon, which is just delicious. We use that all the time. Um, Hi, Chandra. I have a little. Uh, I have a, a pan that I bake our bacon in so that we have uh, bacon all week long. I'm weird, um, I eat it cold. To me it tastes like beef jerky. <laughs> well, this is a thick yeah, cut it's, bacon, it's really so it's, it is really good. And then with the cheese, you can do different cheeses. We decided he wanted the Swiss. Yeah. He wanted this Swiss a, this time, so we did Swiss. We've done American in there. We well, can do provolone. We've done cheddar. Yeah. But, yeah. You can we've do done several. You can just experiment choose, with it. Choose your Whatever cheese. Whatever you like is for a cheese, you could probably put in here and, and just enjoy it just as well. Thank you for sending me that friend request, Kathy. I appreciate it. Hi, okay. Olga. Thank you for the friend request. Hi, Chandra. Thank you for jumping on. Okay, so now we've got the cheese on here and we're just going to roll this whole thing into a ball and make our uh, meatloaf out of it here. We want to keep the, t the ham and the cheese away from the edge just a little bit so that you can cover the uh, so that you can cover it all when you put it together um, and keep it away from the ends as well so you can pull wrap the meat the ends in. Hi Connie, hi Sherry, hi Lisa. Thank you guys so much for saying hello whenever you're coming on. We really appreciate the interaction. Okay, so we've got that on there. I'm going to set that aside for just a minute. I'm going to lay out my bacon so that I can get this onto the bacon and get it wrapped. So we'll set that aside for a minute. We're going to take the bacon and put it on the, uh, the other sheet I've got here that is wrapped uh, in aluminum foil, which we will wrap the meatloaf in when we put it in the oven. Uh, and I, uh, Some. I will lay the bacon out on this so that it's... Uh, so that we can wrap the whole thing up here. Somebody says you make it look, everything looks so easy. He's pretty amazing, <laughs> isn't he? Yes, let's go. I don't like to work hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so. he definitely does. Even though he makes a mess, but that's my job, so he doesn't really care about the mess part. I'm just joking. He's actually pretty good even with the messes. So you guys, like we said, this is just a meatloaf that we used to eat before we were keto, adapted it to where it is keto friendly. Yes. Um, it's really enjoyable. You reheats very easy for quick night or weeknight dinners whenever you don't have time to cook. We both work long hours and commute. So um, this is something that's great just to make up and then you have leftovers, amazing leftovers. Not like the avocado fries. By the way, PSA guys, those avocado fries do not reheat you well. You can't put them in the refrigerator. If you're gonna make those, make them for a party that night. And honestly, uh, we ate a whole skillet. Them. Yeah, we, <laughs> they yeah. were so good. They, uh, they do not, they get soggy just like regular nachos would when you put them in the refrigerator. Uh -huh. So it, they don't turn out well the next day. The flavor's still good. Yeah, he ate but, them for uh, lunch, but yeah. just, just like I said, a public service announcement, I'm gonna update that live and let everybody know that that's not one that you wanna make for meal prep. This one definitely is. Yeah. Also, you guys, if you're keto, can you drop keto in the comments? And if you are not keto, you're new to keto, you want help with keto, if you can drop help, in the comments. And okay, then... so I've left, I've laid the uh, bacon out end to end. Um, this is a thicker bacon so that it, I can't uh, really overlap it very much. 
but that's okay because it's going to uh, uh, it's going to wrap, and then the the uh, the um, aluminum foil will hold it all in place once we get it done. Now, when I took the uh, the meatloaf off of the other uh, tray, I flipped it over to where it's put together, so that my where my bacon ends meet and the bottom of the meatloaf are going to be together. And then before I uh, before I wrap this thing up. I'll flip it over again so that they stay wrapped around the uh, wrapped around the meatloaf. So you get and a bacon and apart. a piece of bacon in every bite. There's bacon in every single bite. <laughs> I love and it. This stuff is wonderful. I love it. Look at all my keto people. Gosh, you guys are awesome. Oh yeah, we are definitely dirty keto, Christina. Yes. Um, we're dirty keto. We are a little lazy sometimes, but when we can and we have recipes like this, we really try hard to make them. As clean as we can. As clean as we can. That's why yeah. the nitrates and the um, uncured meat are always good choices. And this bacon, you can grab this at Costco, and it's really a good bacon. Really? Taste. Sorry. <laughs> See, I'm in his way. I was holding his napkin. Taking my napkins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you. What, what? Hey, guys, what do you think we should get Mark an apron to say? I oh, mean, good come Lord. on. Oh, Batman. <laughs> Okay, so I've rolled that over onto the pieces that are spliced together there on the bottom so that they will stay that way. Now I'm just going to wrap this up and we're going to throw it in the oven at 350 for, um, 25, I, I think, think it's 25 minutes. Yeah. Which it doesn't say in there. Go figure. Oh, no, it does say in there. It's just that's step eight and I didn't print it out for you. <laughs> I printed it out so he could see it and I come out and he goes, um, you we're missed step it. We're step eight. Our printer is being weird. So it printed one through seven and then it printed nine up at the top in the header. So that is step eight and I believe it is 350. Three, well, it says 350 here, but it doesn't say for how long. So I believe it's 25 minutes. Yes. Well, so we're going to throw that and leave it on your cookie sheet just so because the cheese is going to ooze out and you're going to get some grease from the bacon and the ham and everything. And the hamburger. So just to confirm, it is 25 minutes, but I will post the recipe and directions. Yeah. Um, so you're going to put it in there for 25 minutes, then you're going to take it out of the oven, unwrap it, and put it back in the oven for another, um, I think it's another up to 20 minutes, until so that the bacon uh, gets crispy and brown. And then uh, you're ready to eat. Somebody put so. Keto Man. <laughs> there after after man. Superman. I love that. That's amazing. Thank you, Olga. Okay, so you're going to put that in? Okay, so... Yeah, we're going to uh, put this in the oven for 25 minutes at 350. And then start cleaning. Because and away we go. Kind of full of it. Yeah. So, okay, so you guys, you told me you are going to take them out. You told them all that. I'm sure you did, and I wasn't yes, paying attention. Okay. As you did. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was reading the comments. And if anybody knows me, I'm ADD. I cannot read comments, talk, do things, but I really pretend like I can. I pretend it's my superpower for sure. Keto King, I love that. I thought the same thing, Olga. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. So thank you very much. I will post the recipe in the top and then in the comments I'll post the picture when we take it out. We'll take it out. Yeah. And then I'll post a picture of like the final product. Even though if you saw, even if you already saw it, even though if you already saw our picture before, you'll know what it was gonna look like in the final comments. Yeah. What was that look? I'm like, I don't even want to. You looked at me. Oh my God. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for coming on. Remember, if we're not friends or you're not following us, send us a friend request. Touch the three dots up at the top. Touch my nose first. Then the three dots up at the top. Scroll down, select follow, and see our stuff first. Okay, that way you are following us. If you got value from this, give it a quick like and a share out. We really appreciate whenever you guys share it out. Sharing is caring. And we will see you during the week sometime. We're not sure what night, Tuesday or Thursday. See if we can't find a quick kind of a dessert for you guys. Maybe strawberry shortcake. The yeah, shortcakes. we'll take a look into that and see what we could come up with. Yeah. Okay, so thank you guys. Have a great rest of your weekend. We will talk to you soon. Thanks for spending some time with us. Bye. Good night.